Welcome you all to Bio School. This is Dr. Gayatri. Today I am here to discuss previous year GATE 2020 Life Science Geology paper. As your examination is coming near, is the perfect time to practice previous year CSI net question. If you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe and stay connected. So let's get started. Question number one: Which one of the following leucocytes is phagocytic and has clear cytoplasm? So, leukocytes are of two types, granular leukocytes and agranular leukocytes. Clear cytoplasm is it's a agranular leukocyte. What are agranular leukocytes? That is monocyte and lymphocyte. So, let's eliminate eosinophil and basophil. So, correct option, it will be either monocyte or lymphocyte. So, here it is the T helper lymphocyte. What is the function of T helper lymphocyte? It has the main role in cell mediated immune response where it produces the cytokines that help in the activation of B cell and cytotoxic T cell. It has no phagocytic activity. So this option is also wrong. So the correct answer is monocyte. Monocyte has clear cytoplasm and its primary role in phagocytosis. Let's see the second question. Which one of the following techniques can be used for detecting the subcellular localization of serotonin receptor in intact cell? Okay. So let's consider this one is the cell and it has the serotonin receptor. By using which one of the following technique, we can detect the subcellular localization of serotonin receptor. So the first option, it is immunoelectron microscopy. Immunoelectron microscopy is a technique that combines the ability of an antibody to bind specifically a protein with high resolution electron microscope to localize the subcellular position of proteins okay so this one is the correct answer so by using the antibody to the receptor and if it is connected to the electron microscope then we will detect the receptor where it is present okay then second option is the SDS space SDS space it is used to separate the proteins based on their molecular weight it is a type of electrophoresis technique so this one is wrong. Fluorescent in situ hybridization. In this technique, fluorescent probe it is used to localize or map the genetic material. Okay, so this technique is not applicable here. Differential centrifugation is a type of centrifugation which is used to separate the cellular components or organelles based on their size or sedimentation rate. So this is also wrong. So correct answer is immunoelectron microscopy okay next one which one of the following is not a site for in situ conservation what is in situ in situ means on site okay means the animals which are conserved on their original place okay that is known as the in situ conservation but here it is asking which one of the following is not a site for in situ conservation that means it is asking about ex situ conservation that animals which are found in the artificial environment which is made by man okay so what are the example of ex situ conservation that are the zoological garden botanical garden so here the correct option it will be the zoological garden zoological garden it is not a site for in situ conservation okay whereas the biosphere reserve wildlife sanctuary and biodiversity hotspot they are the in situ conservation the next one which one of the following is the precursor molecule for corticosteroids so you know the synthesis of steroid hormones the, all the steroid hormones they are synthesized from cholesterol then cholesterol to the pregnenolone then pregnenolone to progesterone then it synthesizes the corticosteroids okay so first it will be the cholesterol then pregnenolone then progesterone then corticosterone but in the option there is no cholesterol so what will be the correct answer the correct answer it will be the pregnenolone okay let's see the question number five transitional epithelia found in which one of the following organs okay transitional epithelia it is a stratified epithelial cell it has multi layers and this is named as the transitional as because it changes is the shape okay it can contract or expand and this type of epithelial cell it is found in the 
urinary bladder, ureter and urethra. So, the correct answer is urinary bladder. Okay. So, let's see the next question. Visual signal transduction cascade is activated by rhodopsin. Yes. And involves degradation rather than synthesis of which one of the following secondary messenger molecule. So, in this question it is asking about in visual signal transduction which one of the following secondary messenger it get degraded rather than synthesis. So, what happens during the visual signal transduction? Let's see. So, first when there will be the light then that lead to the conformational change of rhodopsin protein and its activation. Then secondly the transduction it will get activated where the GDP it will be converted into GTP that lead to the activation of cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase. The cyclic GMP phosphodiesterase it helps in the conversion of cyclic GMP to GMP. So here you can see the cyclic GMP is the secondary messenger which is get degraded. Okay. So the correct answer it will be the cyclic GMP. So when the cyclic GMP is degraded into GMP then what will happen that leads to the closure of sodium channel. Okay. Let's see the next one. The genome of both human and drosophila code for amylase that acts on the same substrate. However, the sequence of nucleotides in genes encoding the two is dissimilar. Okay. This is an example of which one of the following type of evolution. So, it is an example of convergent evolution. So, what is the convergent evolution? Convergent evolution, it leads to analogous structure where the two individuals have different ancestral origin but similar function. Okay. So, here you can see Drosophila and human, they have the different ancestral origin. That's why the sequence of nucleotides in gene encoding the two is dissimilar. Okay. But both they code the same engine amylase. Okay. So, it's the example of convergent evolution. What is the divergent? Divergent evolution means same ancestral origin. Okay. Divergent evolution, it leads to the homologous structure. So, this one is wrong. Of course, the neutral and directional evolution is wrong. So, the correct answer is convergent evolution. So, see the next one. Round dance is performed by forger bees to indicate the distance between a food source and their colony. Which one of the following best represents this distance? Okay. So, bees, they perform the two type of dance. One is known as the round dance and second one is regular dance. Round dance, it is performed by bee when the food source is near to their colony or near to the hive. Okay. And regular dance, that is performed by the bees when the food source is far away from their hive. Okay. In the regular dance, okay, the food source, it will be minimum distance of 150 meters from their hive. So, but in the question, it is asking about the round dance. Round dance means it, the food source is near to their colony or near to their hive. So, the correct answer, it will be 45 meter. Okay. If it is the waggler dance, then the food source, it will be at least 150 meter away from their colony. Okay. So, the correct answer is 45 meter option 1. Okay. Let's see the next one. Which one of the following phyla have coanocytes? You know, the coanocytes, it is also called as the collar cells. It is a flagellated cells and this is the characteristics of sponges. Where it helps in the reproduction, nutrition and excretion. And the sponge, it belongs to phyla porifera. So, the correct answer is porifera. Okay. okay. The next one. Which one of the following glial cells is not derived from ectoderm? Glial cells, it is also called as the neuroglial cells. These are the non-neuron cells that help in the protection of neurons. So, it is asking about which one is not derived from ectoderm. There are four neuroglial cells that are the astrocytes, microglial cells, oligodendrocytes and ependema. So, except microglial cells, all the three, they are derived from ectoderm. So, the correct answer, it will be microglial cells. Microglial cells, these are derived from mesoderms. 
these are a specialized type of macrophages they help in destruction of damaged neurons and keep central nervous system healthy so the correct answer is option 2 that is microglial cells thank you so much for watching this video so please stay connected tomorrow i will upload another 10 questions of geology paper